there's barely any ice to break on the St. Lawrence Seaway this year. But as winter comes to a close, scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration say that this is the third lowest year on record for ice cover across the Great Lakes region. Something like Ontario and the Thousand Islands region is seeing even in shallow waters. It was mid-December and uh, mid-January that we had those really deep freeze moments, but they were pretty quick this, this year. There was a, a short window uh, where we had good ice cover between the islands. Without the typical thick ice during the midwinter months, popular recreation couldn't happen. Obviously, we've missed all the ice fishing derbies, which are usually held right out in this bay out here. Uh, we do miss events like that and some fundraisers, so it has affected the community for sure. As you can see, the deeper parts of the St. Lawrence River are completely free of ice, but this is affecting both recreation and the environment. Shorter uh, winters and, and less ice cover could mean a shorter breeding season and spawning season for fish and other wildlife. Um, animals like the red fox and bobcat will actually use the ice cover to travel amongst the islands. So now the community is hoping things will turn around this spring. I think we'll see an early spring. You know, the sun's out. I think people are itching to get out of the house. So I think we're going to see, given the low ice, an early spring, an early kickoff. Uh, that's what we're looking forward to here at our marina. So we'll get phone calls for people that are trying to get to their island homes earlier. So we will see an earlier jump this year uh, than usual. Obviously, our docks won't be quite available yet, but there are municipalities and um, um, docks that are open for public use if you can find them. With clear waters ahead, the St. Lawrence Seaway will open for navigation on March 22nd. Reporting from Clayton, I'm Isabella Colello.